Tyler here and we're back again for the GP Knives update number 151. We're going to start out this week with the Benchmade Griptilian and we have these restocked in a number of variations. We got the full size with the drop point here on the bottom. This is the Dash 1 that has an upgraded G10 handle and 20 CV blade. So similar to M390, you're going to get excellent performance in edge retention and corrosion resistance. Open back construction with the blue liners and spacers there and a deep carry clip standard. For the standard version, we've got the sheep's foot version and these have all actually been upgraded from 154 CM to S30V. So good all around performance in corrosion resistance and edge retention. And these are going to have polymer handles with a closed back and reversible stainless steel clip in a standard carry option. So we've got a number of these in stock and ready to ship and you can see them all on the site now. Next up we have the Justin Lundquist designed OSS dagger from Wee Knives. This is another collaboration with Wee Knives and Justin Lundquist and we've seen his angst dagger flipper and he has also collaborated on the popular Kaiser Feist front flipper. We got a 20 CV blade on here and these are available in either the black stonewashed you see here or a standard stonewash. The black comes with the black G10 inlaid scale and the innovative design makes for a very thin profile for secure carry. And you've got his sort of iconic thumb traction ramp there. Comes with a nice Kydex sheath for secure carry. And then we have a dots lock for belt carry and it also comes with a stainless ball chain so lots of carry options there double edge chisel grind so durable as well as very sharp and of course a fine piercing point on this concealable dagger another knife from Wee Knives we have the banter and this is just a new variation on this design we've got two new variations actually we've got the gray stonewash with OD green G10 here. And then there's also a satin blade with gray G10. Great compact EDC folder. It's got a nice tall blade in S35. Again, good balance performance, a little upgrade in toughness from S30. A ball bearing pivot. Gives a snappy deployment via either of the dual thumb studs there. You got an inset liner, deep carry clip, and both of those are set up for right hand use. And we've got tip up only carry on that. So just a great all around design there from Wee Knives. And for some more budget friendly offerings, we have a few knives from Civivi. We have several variations of the Badlands Vagabond that you see here. It's got a similar handle design as their previous Ortis. You've got a long clip point blade and this one comes in their stainless Damascus. So this has a stainless steel core with stainless Damascus cladding. A nice high hollow grind with a thin edge. It's going to give excellent slicing performance. You got dual thumb studs or an index flipper for deployment options and of course a ball bearing pivot there for snappy deployment. You've got subtly contoured and textured carbon fiber on the handles here. You've got a smooth bolstered area and then textured scales on there although they are all one piece. Black stainless steel liners are skeletonized, inline lanyard pin and then we've got a reversible stainless steel deep carry clip for tip up only carry. And then the standard stainless models are gonna have a polymer handle scale and just your standard stainless blade. 
Next up from Civivi, we have the Brazen. Kind of a larger tactical design. We've got a Tonto blade of D2. We've got a few variations of this. Purple G10 on this one with a gray stone wash. We've also got a red or burgundy G10 with a stone wash black. Again, you've got the dual thumb studs and index flipper, skeletonized stainless liners, and reversible clip. This one has a matching backspacer with laner detachment point. And of course, a very snappy deployment on the ball bearing pivot. We've got a high saber grind on this with that flat ground tip. So a nice sturdy blade there while still being thin for good slicing performance. And then we have the limited Ortix from Wii here. Two variations of this. We've got a gray and a black stone wash. Harpoon profile blade of CPM 20 CV. And you're going to have matching blade and handle finishes on each knife. And these are limited to 410 pieces worldwide. Titanium frame lock construction. Of course, a nice snappy deployment via the flipper or blade hole on ceramic bearing pivot. Nice chamfers on the handle. Very sleek design and relatively lightweight for an all tie construction. And again, we've got a reversible clip for tip up carry and a nice lanyard hole there at the end for lanyard attachment. So these are limited while supplies last. A uh, great little design for carry or collection. And quickly we'll jump over to the Guardian Tactical Recon Elite. And this is kind of a special model from Guardian Tactical. This is actually a standard issue for the protective services, US protective services there. And so it comes with some unique features Fate Loves the Fearless etched on the blade. We got the American flag design here on the front, as well as the US Protective Services logo here on the back. Otherwise, you're looking at standard Guardian Tactical construction with their proprietary thumb slide. Some of the smoothest out the front action that I have seen. Solid aluminum handle construction. A nice clip there that is reversible for left or right hand carry. In mounted glass breaker. And we've got a two tone L Max blade with partially serrated edge. Some dual fluting there on the blade. And that gives a nice aggressive style as well as helping to keep the mechanism clear from any obstructions there and they do something interesting with their tanto it is kind of a shallow hollow grind at the tip with more of a saber grind for the primary edge and you can see that gives a very fine point for piercing tasks as well as lending it towards finer work with the tip and this particular recon elite also comes with some accessories We've got a challenge coin, US Protective Services patch, and matching sticker there. So nice little set to go along with that knife. And lastly, we have some new stock from QSP, some high quality and affordable designs. We've got the Gannet, a nice front flipper design, sort of a gentleman's tactical option here. We've got a large clip point blade with a hand rub satin finish made from 154 cm. Carbon fiber bolsters on this one with stainless liners. You got a half length backspacer there. Canvas micarta handle scales. A nice full handle design as you can see. One position deep carry clip for right hand tip up. And of course it's got a right hand operated liner lock there you can see it's got a nice snappy deployment with that front flipper and it also can be 
operated in a slow manner as well. And we have this in a few different variations with different colored bolsters and handle scales. And one of my favorite designs from QSP is the Hawk here, a nice classic drop point. We have this in a stainless Damascus and carbon fiber. So if you wanna dress that up, this is a great option. Again, single position, right hand tip up only deep carry clip, stainless liner construction. We've got dual thumb studs and index flipper for deployment. This is a nice mid-size EDC. You got that thumb ramp with some jimping, a little jimping on the flipper and on the liner as well for solid traction and use. And we've got a few different variations in stock of the Hawk. We've got a Vera Wood with S35VN here. So if you want a bit of an upgrade in performance while still having a nice stylish look, the S35VN blades come with a two-tone satin, so you can see vertical on the grinds, horizontal on the flats. Construction is going to be the same. And we've got the Vera Wood in both S35 and Damascus. And then here I've got the Damascus with what they call a shred carbon fiber, sort of more of a marbled look. Again, you get the same overall design as the other one. So this is their standard carbon fiber on the right and what they call a shred carbon fiber on the left. And we have these in both the Damascus and the S35VM blade steel. And finally, if you just want a hard working knife that feels great in the hand and won't set you back too much. The Penguin from QSP is an excellent choice. You've got a stout sheep's foot style blade with a satin finish made from D2 tool steel, dual thumb studs, and copper washers for deployment. Nice smooth operation on there. And we have these in a few different models. In terms of handle scale options, we've got the red canvas micarta here which is kind of a standout something you don't see too often same stainless liner construction as the others this one does have a reversible clip for left or right hand carry and a few other standout favorites for me we've got the denim micarta here and this one has a nice feel in the hand and we've also got some brass scale options and we have those in the satin and then also in a black stonewash blade. So this one's going to be quite a bit heavier with the brass scales, but it gives a nice heft in the hand and has a great look and feel as well. So you can check out all of these models as well as the rest of the QSP line linked below in the description. Again, this is Tyler with your GP Knives update number 151. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media via the links in the description. Subscribe to our channel and like the video below. And follow us for updates on all new products and releases.